Hi there, this is Bryony from Pay It Forwards um, and I'm here today to talk to you about something that's quite close to my heart um, and that is plug-in air fresheners. So I'm not going to uh, name any names, I'm not here to name and shame, I'm not here to worry you either. It's just something that's quite um, important to me because they are everywhere. I've just come back from... Um, a long weekend away at a convention actually um, and the Airbnb place we had we stayed at had them in every room and you know there are lots of friends I know that use them I used to work in physio clinic and they'd be in every room and I've made it my mission that every time I find one I switch it off at the wall um, my next step you know if I'm feeling a bit more disruptive might be to take it out and throw it in a bin somewhere um, <laughs> but the reason I'm here to talk to you today is because I want you to realize just how bad they are for you um, and that there is a much easier much safer much more beautiful alternative for you so um, I use an app on my phone called chemical maze so if I just grab my phone um, I might be able to show you what it looks like so hopefully you can see that one there it's the one with the yellow heart so if I were to go into that app on my phone um, it comes up with a list of chemicals and I know it could potentially be backwards on this recording. But it comes up with a list of chemicals that you can look up. And they either have a green happy face or a red sad face or an in-between the orange face. Um, and it's a really useful tool to have on your phone, especially if you have kids. Um, now, I'm not here to say to you that, you know, you can eliminate all toxins from your life. I'm just here to say to you that you have the opportunity to make very, very easy um alternative choices that will limit your toxic load there are a lot of chemicals a lot of toxins that we come into um, contact with on a daily basis just by living our lives by breathing in the air around us by going to the supermarket um, by using mobile phones and uh, laptops but what you can do is you can make choices that are easy to implement um, very very cheap um, and just absolutely add um, positive things to your life so don't think about the things you're taking away, think about the positive things you're adding in. Um, they're really easy alternatives, so I'm here to share one with you today. I'm not here to scare you, I'm not here to worry you, I'm just here, if it's something that you've been thinking about, then here is a really easy alternative for you. So if you are a Glade plug-in user, I implore you, please go and turn it off right now. Stop watching and go and turn it off right now, because there are... Um, things in those clay plugins that you know they are they might be the perfumes they might be the um, preservatives they might even be colorants um, that are chemicals in there that you don't want to be ingesting so when you think about ingesting you might be thinking about drinking them so yes you don't want to drink them but here I am to say to you that anything that you put in on your skin in the air around you that you breathe in or in your mouth and swallow it's really all ingestion. It's all going to end up inside you anyway. So if you wouldn't want to drink it, then certainly don't plug it in and breathe it in all day long. And don't pour it on your skin either. Um, so all I did today was to back up this recording, um, which is something that you know I've known about for ages. I've been wanting to make this video for a long time. Um, was just go onto a website of a well-known plug-in air freshener. Um, and they list their ingredients, A to Z for you. You know, it's all very open and you can look through them now the thing that scared me the most was how many ingredients there were multiple 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 chemicals and synthetics that are not necessary to for you to create a nice smelling environment um, I'll tell you how you can do that in a minute with no chemicals at all um, so I picked a few and they're written down next to me because I'm obviously going to forget the names of them um, but there are a few I want to go through with you. Now, they started A to Z. So typically I started at A. And the first one I found was acetone. So you'll know acetone is in nail varnish remover as well. This is a suspected respiratory, kidney, cardiovascular, liver and neurotoxicity. Like that is massive. Um, prolonged use, so if you're plugging it in and breathing it in all day long every day, you're going to be thinking about eye and skin irritation potentially. It's not actually assessed for safety in cosmetics. So be cautious of the stuff that you're removing your nail varnish with as well. The next one I found was randomly picked, again, within the A's, because I'm quite lazy, started at the beginning, um, didn't realise how many there'd be, thought there might just be a few for you, but so I selected 
five, I'm going to go through. Your next one is acid blue nine, which is a colorant. First of all, I say, why? Why do you need a colorant in your plug-in? Obviously, you need a perfume because you're going to want to smell it, but why does it have to be a pretty color? Maybe people wouldn't buy it if those plugins looked brown and disgusting. Um, okay, so again, this is an irritant for skin, for eyes, and for mucous membranes. Now, your mucous membranes within your body are so, so important for your body to be able to function. Um, your epithelial membrane around down your throat will stop things coming up. Your mucous membranes in your organs, um, in your digestive system, they're so, so, so important. Um, so please don't hurt them. The next one is benzyl alcohol. Now, benzyl alcohol is in a lot. It's perfuming and it's also a preservative. So it's in perfumes, it's in lip glosses, it's in moisturisers it's in fragrances and soaps it's in um, laundry detergents and of course it's in air fresheners um, it can definitely lead to immune system responses because it's toxic to the immune system and this can include itching burning hives blisters that may be more so if you're applying it to your skin so you know things like moisturizer and perfumes but prolonged exposure could well lead to dermatitis and um, pain redness even irritation of your eyes so eyes obviously if you're breathing things in um you know it's it's quite close isn't it um it's also toxic to your liver and your central nervous system so it's, again it's another one that i would be leaning way away from um next on my list is sodium benzoate so this is a preservative and studies have actually shown that it irritates eczema prone skin so you can imagine that it's not that great for uh, anybody's skin um it's present in soft drinks as well so be a little bit cautious of fizzy drinks that you're having um and the other one that i read up was that it is damaging to dna <gasps> now that's a that's a real shocker of a one your dna being your code that teaches your body how to grow how to respond how to um, heal itself how to cope day to day with with different things that it's thrown at even if you're damaging to dna then that is that is big time um can create hyperactivity and even learning difficulties in children. Um, now we know, uh, we think about soft drinks creating kind of hyperactivity, that's the kind of sugar levels as well. But again, sodium benzoate would be one that I stay away from. And then last but not least, this is one that I actually looked up, which is why it's an S, sodium laurel sulfate. So I wanted to know if it was in air fresheners. Now it's in a lot of stuff. It's derived from petroleum, which is known to be, you know, uh, carcinogenic can I say it um, and palm oil now if you're at all environmentally conscious palm oil is something you definitely want to be uh, aware of you know whether it's in the things that you're using around your house because of the way that it's sourced um, we know that there are lots of animals that are losing their habitats orangutans especially because um, of sourcing of palm oil so be really really cautious um, but what sodium laurel sulfate does so it's in so much it's in toothpaste body wash shampoos and hair colorants it's in detergents and hand soaps and it can cause quite serious skin irritation a good friend of mine um, has a family member who um, can't have uh, laundry detergents with sodium laurel sulfate in because it brings him up in a rash uh, so often when things are skin irritant they're often an eye irritant as sodium laurel sulfate is and this stuff actually penetrates through your skin and accumulates in your organs and when it accumulates in the cells of your organs it basically gets in the way of how that cell is performing its its role whether it's the job it's doing or whether it's um, how it's making its energy or how it's growing and developing or whether it's dying off and letting something else take over the job um, if it's getting in the way of the function of the cell then those cells can't perform as they need to and hence your body can't perform as it needs to um, there's quite a big suspected link with liver toxicity as well and sodium lyl sulfate so there are two things i'm going to run through with you um, just you know taking inspired action the one that came up um, with the sodium laurel sulfate was the laundry detergent so i'm just going to grab out of my cupboard over here um, what i use instead of a laundry detergent and whether you can see these or not uh, let me lift my hand up can we see those these are soap nuts 
Um, they occur naturally on trees and I actually use them in a little linen bag with some very pure and cleansing essential oils in my washing. Um, I don't use laundry detergents or fabric softeners anymore so I eliminate all those chemicals that um, could be causing some kind of toxic loading on my body and interfering with those big systems, central nervous system, immunity system, you know, I, I, those are things that I definitely want to be staying away from. So your soap nuts are uh, naturally cleansing and they absolutely 100% work. I was very, very skeptical when I first tried them, but I haven't used anything now for uh, anything else for over a year. And the second thing, which is the real reason I did this video that I want um, to introduce you to is my ultrasonic diffuser. So this ultrasonic diffuser has water in it and essential oils. Um, ultrasonic means that it's um, it's ultrasonic rays that create uh, the puffing out. This is not water vapor, so it actually takes water moisture out of the environment, so it doesn't create damp, it doesn't irritate respiratory conditions or anything like that. Um, but the great thing about this is that you can add in your essential oils to your ultrasonic diffuser, um, and you can choose what you want. So you can not only are you not having any of those chemicals uh, to make your house smell nice, you can actually choose essential oils which might be boosting your immune system or helping you with your respiratory conditions. Um, they might be uplifting for your mood, or as I've got going on today, spearmint because spearmint is the oil of confident speech that's actually helping me to make this video for you today. So if you're out there and you want to know more, you need to look me up on Facebook. I come under Pay It Forwards. Uh, my name's Bryony Tilly. Um, you can always reach out to me if you want some of these gorgeous natural essential oils in your life, then um, please get in touch. I can make sure that you get them at the cheapest possible price and get them at the same price that I pay. Um, so yeah, come and find me. I'll speak to you soon. Bye.